Hi, I'm Sharon. I'm one of the directors of the documentary film Vendemia. I fell in love with the Cinque Terre nearly a decade ago during my very first trips to Italy. And the five villages have held a very special place in my heart for many years. It's been a privilege for me and Krista to document the decade-long programs for sustainable tourism, the area's winemaking tradition, which is over a thousand years old, and even to document the changes and unrest the area is experiencing now that the park office management and structure is in transition. Change can be good, and we hope to give the citizens a voice so that they may express what kind of support they need to move forward in the way they desire to do so. All of these things have been a privilege to document, and the voice of every citizen has been precious and valuable to us. But it was absolutely heartbreaking to bear witness to the devastation of Vernazza and Monteroso this past October of 2011, and our hearts go out to the citizens. We are committed to doing whatever we can as we continue to gather support for our return to film in March to also support them in whatever way possible as they move forward with their restoration efforts. The message we continue to hear from the citizens is that they are rebuilding and restoring and they will be ready for tourists this year. Shops are reopening, restaurants are reopening, and of course the southernmost villages, Rio Maggiore, Manarola, and Cornelia, were completely undamaged and they are ready, as usual, to welcome friends from around the world. Our goal in returning this March is to finish shooting for our documentary, but to also provide a visual window into the resilience of this area, the people of this area, and to invite everyone to show support to the Cinque Terre by visiting this spring and summer. There's this continual battle between self-interest and greater community good. We had no idea this is where the story would lead us. These problems existed in Cinque Terre 200 years ago. Il futuro qui, se noi organizzassimo 500 alberghi, probabilmente si riempirebbero tutti. Nel senso che farebbero scomparire questa identità, diciamo, del territorio. I paesi che oggi li abbiamo pieni di turisti, all'epoca non c'era nessuno, erano quasi dei paesi, diciamo, del terzo mondo. Now thousands of tourists that in 1998 there weren't. È stato un atto di disperazione per non perdere un mondo che mi sembrava, cioè, veramente importante non perdere. That was the first story, and then everything changed. Arresti eccellenti in Liguria, il sindaco di Rio Maggiore Gianluca Pasini e il presidente del Parco delle Cinque Terre, Franco Bonanini. Non ho gioito perché ho pensato a dieci anni di progetti buttati in fumo, di idee che erano nate col Parco Nazionale. Il parco è più o meno chiuso perché le persone vogliono vendere le loro proprietà e realizzare il beneficio finanziario di un grande sviluppo in Cinque Terre. Tutte le regolazioni sono andate. I think that in any population there is inevitably division. To save the good things that we did is too important. Dobbiamo fare in modo che questo territorio continui a vivere. The action now is to inform everyone, stop this situation, think about the future, which kind of future we, we want to have for this community. Is it possible to save the future without sacrificing the past? It's history now.
Hi, I'm Krista Lee Weller. I'm one of the directors of the documentary film Vendamia. And this project started many years ago. And as the project has been developed over the course of the years, a lot has changed. You've probably heard of the Cinque Terre of Italy. It's in the northern region. It's five tiny remote villages that are absolutely spectacular and beautiful. There's um, hiking trails and coastal, just, you know, beautiful scenery. Um, three million people visit there a year, and a lot of them are Americans. But what people don't realize is that this is a culture that has been around for over a thousand years, and they have a lot of really special traditions that are being lost. Initially, we just wanted to go over and document what seemed to be a vanishing culture. What we actually found was a resurgence in the Chacatra tradition, which is the unique wine that they make in the, the area. We found programs that were educating children on all sorts of things besides that, on um, making, making limoncino, which is a local form of limoncello there, a, a lemon liqueur. Um, we found them teaching them how to use the local herbs to make soaps and to make all sorts of products. And as we neared the end of filming, or what we thought was the end of filming, um, actually two weeks after we got back from Italy, uh, everything changed. 